<laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, it's Nir Morel. And I got back, well, not just got back, I saw it yesterday, from seeing Detective Pikachu. And it was good. Out of all the video game movies, it's probably the best one up there with the greats. Man, that's not saying much at all. Video game movies are notoriously bad. It's kind of hard to adapt to video game. I don't know what it is. It's maybe it's because they're more episodic than a movie. There's not that much of a rocking story. What people love about video games is their interactivity and being able to interact with the characters and stuff like that. Which you can do in a movie, but not in the way you can do in a game. Alright. So the same issue is about Tim Goodman who gets a call from Rhyme City Police that his father is missing. Well, that he's dead. But then he finds his father's partner Pokemon, Detective Pikachu, who he can talk to. And, uh, yeah. So now they have to unravel a mystery involving uh, our serum with the help of an uh, intern reporter who Tim seems to have a crush on, and Pikachu just uh, makes fun of him for it. They, they go out and try to solve the mystery. Now the cool thing about this movie is you can live in the world of Pokemon. The Pokemon look awesome. Pikachu looks great, and all fluffy and so cute. And uh, when I first heard Ryan Reynolds' voice coming out of him, I didn't, it, it didn't really match up. But then after a while, I was watching the movie, I was just seeing him. Right, yeah, I can, I can live with this. I was hoping he'd change his voice just a little bit for the role. I don't know something kind of higher and squeakier, but now nah, he just uses his regular voice. Uh, Justice says is Tim Goodwin is pretty good. They have uh, him and Ryan have great chemistry. Yeah, he's just a guy who wanted to be a Pokemon trainer, but didn't end up being one. He works in insurance, and now this is his big break to do detective work, like his dad. And uh, let's see, other oh, there's Psyduck, there's Charizard, there's Blastoise, there's Gengar, there's a bunch of them. Char, Car, um. Charmander, Bulbasaur, let's see the other ones, there's some new gen Pokemon too, the Panchu, uh, there's a lot, all the performances are, uh, uh, Ken Watanabe playing an inspector who wants to, this is the one that has to tell Tim that his father passed away, but no, he thought that he was not in the know, Bill Nye plays a uh, guy who created Rhyme City because he believes Pokemon should be together with humans and there's no Poke Bottles except once they're underground which uh, Tim has to go to to find out more about the R serum and we have a nice little appearance by Omar Chaparro who is a Mexican actor and I know he'd be in a big pleasure American movie now uh, so the main villain there's a twist with him but uh, his, I'm not sure his motivation is a little weak. I don't know. Uh, I was more interested in Chase Pikachu and Tim solving a mystery than the actual villain's motivation. It involves Mewtwo, it involves the R Serum, it involves a bonding of Pokemon and human, kind of like he wanted to. There's a twist who is a villain. Uh, it's not. It's. Just, because at first you think someone else is a villain, but then someone else turns out to be. There's a twist in the end with Mewtwo and stuff. And uh, his Pikachu, and you kind of can't see, see coming, but um, it doesn't really make sense if you think about it much. Uh, I mean, there's there's a reason for Pikachu, Pikachu talks and to can understand him, but I'm not gonna give that away. No, the, the action's pretty good. There's not a lot of Pokemon battles for a Pokemon movie because the thing that Warner Brothers and your know, legendary. Went with a uh, Detective Pikachu, a very unknown, not that very known game, as their first live action Pokemon movie. It's kind of weird. You don't want to go with Ash and Pikachu. Well, I think Detective Pikachu is a good choice because Pikachu talks in that one. And you can't really have a movie with one of your main character, primary characters not talking. There's no reference. To, I don't think there's any reference to Ash that I can catch. No, nah, fucking Matt from Game Theory or Film Theory or whatever. And things that. This Pikachu is Ash's Pikachu, which I don't know. Could be. There's nothing that I haven't dedicated to it would be, though. Another 
what else can I say? Performances are good, the action's pretty nice. I wish there was more Pokemon battles. That's what you want for a Pokemon movie, Pokemon battles. The interaction between Ryan Reynolds and Justice Smith as Pikachu and Tim is pretty good. Uh, there's there's a little bit of a breakup between them in the middle. Kind of like every detective movie. This movie does feel like a detective movie. You, you learn stuff. He's a, this is actually a lot like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, actually. Not in this, just in the style, but in the story, too. A few nods here and there. What else to say? What else can I say about this movie? Oh, they were giving out free Pokemon cards. I didn't get mine. I wish I did. I used to play Pokemon. I was going to watch this movie with a girl. Yeah, a girl. This is my friend. Uh, she loves Pokemon. She, she, uh, she, um, she used to play cards. I used to play with her. I used to go to tournaments with her. I'm not very good. Yeah, I mean, what else can I say? The movie's good overall. Some minor complaints here and there. Uh, what else can I say? Like I said, one of the twists is good. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. I you really think about it, especially with Tim. The twist of the villains, pretty good reveal. The you get to learn a lot about Pikachu. You get to see him you drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> that was funny to watch Pikachu drink coffee. He loves it. He's in a Pikachu just his caffeine. Now, as he says in the trailer, these are choices. I can stop whenever I want. Uh, she doesn't see him drink. You see him a lot of coffee. So as you in the beginning, Tim doesn't want a Pokemon partner, but uh, he ends up having a relationship with his Pikachu, which is something he hasn't had. I think in the beginning you see him try to catch a Cubone or something, which is a pretty funny scene. Uh, I think one of the guys from Deadpool's in it, the Dupender, I think. I'm not sure. It looks a lot like him if it's not, I'm wrong. The girl who plays a reporter is nice. Uh, Tim and her have a little bit of a, not really a romance, they don't really get together at the end. Which is great, this movie doesn't need a romance, it really needs a romance between Pikachu and Tim. That's, that's what the relationship we need, that's the relationship we need to focus on. Having a whole side self story would have kind of their deprimented from the film. And we get that a lot of kids movies, the girl the guy likes. Uh, well, there's some stuff that indicates that Tim does like the girl. And Pikachu, that would give him shit about it because he's not very good, at, he's not very charming with her. Yeah. So, and so, there's a lot of row in this movie. This is the first live action Pokemon movie, and it turned out great. Like I said, I find a way they went with this lesser known property than it was Ash, or actual the Pikachu we all know and love. But it takes Pikachu, it's a good entry. It's a good first film. Uh, I mean, people, they could have just remade Pokemon the first movie in live action without any terrible. Well, there's a bit of Pokemon in the first movie here with Pokemon having to battle Rhyme City and Mewtwo. Mewtwo being genetic, he made. So, yeah, that's good. And I love it. Would I recommend the movie? Yes. That's probably a good 7 out of 10, I think. I don't really rate movies on scores unless I'm like on DP and you have to. You have to give it a rating. Yeah, so Ryan Reynolds is good. Justice Smith was good. It's all good. I think you're all going to like this movie. I I enjoyed it very much. Uh, I saw it by myself. I guess I also see it with my friend, but she didn't end up going. Yeah. Well, you didn't end up going to the movie. They were supposed to see Endgame or something. And I wanted to see her see Pokemon. Because she loves Pokemon. I'm going to do like a review with her. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's the end of that. That's the end of my review. As you can see, I got a haircut. I hate it. I think I showed a picture of Bruce Campbell to the lady, this is what she gave me. Now I look nothing like Bruce Campbell. I know. No fans of that alive. Alright, so I'll be waiting for that uh, Dorado Dreams as Respective Honest Review is coming out soon. I'm going to have it by next week. My third part of my Dorado Dreams as Respective. Give those videos some watch. Now I have a series called Honest Reviews and right now I'm doing the Dorado Dreams as Respective. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I have a Texas Frightmare video you can check out. We're on the Texas Frightmare. 
and uh, I might do a podcast and start recording one, but uh, it's not even close to finished. Alright, so see you guys later.